morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, brand new build video, and I'm really excited because this is the first of Jaylena getting to get her hands on this bus, and she's gonna be in this video. We actually did hire a babysitter to come watch her for a few days, so that Jaylena can be a part of this build process. Uh, we just felt like it was something we really wanted to do. So we're really excited about that. Now, today our mission is to finish getting it kill matted and then uh, finish framing and kind of getting some stuff up there so that we can start insulating it and putting skins up. Putting the ceiling up, putting the walls up, because it's like, then it's like ready to build and it'll go really fast from there so that's kind of the main mission today um, and then I can get on the roof re all that repaint all that seal all that up and then it's like drivable so well the, and so here's the thing too is Jelena has an appointment today and Minion was broke and I gotta go pick it up from the mechanic so our workday is gonna end at 2 o'clock so I'm not sure how much we're gonna get done today but that's kind of where we're at we're, we're trying our, our main goal right now and by the end of this video is to have the ceiling up there and the walls up there which means some wires got to be laid things like that so I'm gonna get my notebook out and I'm gonna start kind of figuring things out but we're excited because this is like the big step before the actual build out this is all kind of this is all kind of prep really all right ladies and gentlemen let's get down Y'all, look! So we're having our uh, our morning meeting. I feel like a real business now. <laughs> we're having our morning meeting, trying to figure out exactly what the game plan is. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off so we can actually talk about it and figure it out. But look who's here! It's me! Holy moly! <laughs> Jaylena, I mean, Jaylena's finally jumping in on this build. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. I guess Levi really and I have done a lot on this. Really. All right, we're gonna figure this out. I was just hanging wire to basically just get the front and back caps up and then I realized like I should probably run all the wire right now behind like the ceiling and stuff and I just ran out of wire and the AC wire which is two gauge right here it's 12 volt AC it's not long enough so I was thinking I could splice it and then I'm sitting here because it's like I, I put some smaller wire in where I should put bigger wire. Anyways, moral of the story, it's like I don't want to have problems. And then the ceiling, the $2,000 ceiling is up over it. So the ceiling is just going to have to wait. It's like $700 in wire on Amazon. I got to order it, get the right stuff in here so I feel good about it hang the wire, then put the ceiling up. So it's just gonna slow us down. You yeah, know, it's one of those things, you know, you don't really think about it till you're right there. Anyways, yeah, so I need to order some wire. I'm gonna start cleaning up for the day, but the ceiling's gonna be on hold, but we can still do the walls. I'm not sure I mentioned this yet, but I decided I'm gonna swap some of the wire out of here because it should be better. I just ran out of wire. I was only, I haven't ordered, I haven't done the big order for this bus yet. So I was just kind of using leftover stuff I have around the shop. 
And then I was just trying to get it done anyways. I put up probably two small wires and some spots, which I'm gonna do it right, but I'm a week out now. So I gotta wait a week before I can put the ceiling up. Which has got me thinking about ordering supplies. Let me show you this. Can you see that? Can you see that right now? Right now I'm at almost $7,000 for the Amazon cart. And also Minions broke, by the way. I paid $2,000 at the mechanic yesterday and now it won't go past 30. Oh my God, I'm just bleeding money. I'm hesitant to click purchase on that order, but I have to, to build this. So it's like, I don't know, I'm conflicted. Also, Ampere Time, shout out. They are the battery sponsor of this build. So they gifted 600 amp hours of power, which I'll get more into that stuff later. But and if it wasn't for the AC unit, that'd be a million times more than I need. But because of the AC power, I think I'm gonna buy, cause I've maxed out their marketing budget <laughs> with 600 amps. So I think I'm gonna buy one more just to put me at 800 amp hours of lithium just to help keep this AC unit going longer because I can only put 600 watts of solar because other things are more important to me, like I've mentioned before, like skylights and things like that, and a deck. That, so, yeah. I guess I should hit purchase. Mechanic just called and he told me what's wrong with it, so. Looks like it's something real easy. I'm gonna grab my little tool kit and pretend to be a mechanic and fix that real quick. <laughs> Update, bus is fixed. I think I'm gonna get on the roof. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to hop up on the roof and start cleaning out all the old body seams so I can put new body seams up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a scraper, get a little hook tool and pull out all the 1998 caulk lines. Uh, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna pull the bluebird decal off. I would try and keep it, but there's seams underneath that decal that I wanna seal and that's more important to me. So that decal is gonna come off. Um, and then I'll sand the whole top cap and then I will put new automotive body sealer in all the seams and then we'll put Elastomeric, Henry's, I think it's called Durabrite or Duracoat or whatever, paint up there. So that's the plan. Now I'm just going to show it happening. Just learn some stuff. Turns out the stripe is paint, but the bird is actually uh, a decal. So, I tried scraping the paint, that wasn't the move, that's gotta be sanded, but that bird is actually a decal. Good morning, afternoon, it's a new day. And I'm gonna tell you our mission for the day. I was gonna, I did write out the whole week, but I'm not gonna say that right now. So we're just gonna talk about today. Today's mission is to prep that roof for paint tomorrow. Which means I need to get, and I'm basically painting it white from those sills all the way around. Now, so what needs to happen is I need to pull the caulk lines out of any of the body seams up there. I need to get any of that reflective tape off. I need to sand it, blow it off, and lay new caulk lines in today. That's the mission. So the caulk lines can set up tonight and I could be masking and putting paint on tomorrow. My goal, this is Saturday, my goal is to have the roof 100% done come Monday morning. That way we can get inside and get some other missions done. So let's get down.
I figured I should let you guys know what I'm doing. So I'm removing all the old uh, body seams from 1998 because, uh, you know, technology's come a long way since then and that is probably not doing anything anymore. So we're removing all the old body seams and I'm gonna lay new body seams in all these before I paint the roof and just 100% seal it up and touch everything so I feel good about it before I put a $2,000 roof up on there and it's leaking and it ruins it, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. Good morning, it's a new day. Stuff going on right there. Uh, so, we did not get done what I was trying to get done yesterday. All I got done was sanding the outside of the bus. I was trying to get the entire thing sanded, cocked, and primed while the sun was out. So the problems we're gonna run into today is it's cold and it's raining. So I can't take it outside. It's cold in this shop bay. So I got to finish sanding, which I'm hoping is only going to take a couple hours and I'm running out of sandpaper. And then we need to put primer down on all the bare metal. That's going to slow us down. Normally the primer will dry in like 15 minutes in the sun. Who knows in this bay, right? And then I need to lay the caulk lines in, preferably today. All the new body seam sealer. Because then I could paint tomorrow. We were supposed to be painting today to be on schedule, so we're behind today. Um, but Jaylena's gonna come out here and try and get us back ahead of day inside while I'm on the roof. So we better get we better get going. Yeah, so Jaylene is gonna be inside while I'm up top. Two-man mission, let's get ahead. Masking this up so that I can get ready to roll the Elastomeric Durabrite Henry's roof coating on there. Uh, well, I'm gonna do primer, caulk lines, then I'm gonna do that. But I'm, pri or I'm masking it now so that I can keep the caulk lines and the primer off of the majority of it. And it's already masked up for when I go to roll it tomorrow. Uh, but Jaylena has been inside, check this out. <laughs> So that's Jaylena, leave her wow right there. Look, she's already got all this insulated. And look at this. She's almost got the walls completely done. Crazy. Good job, babe. Thanks, babe. So we're excited. I was behind a day and uh, Levi offered to watch Ember this morning so that Jaylena could get in here and help kind of get us moving forward. So this is a big step ahead on a day where I'm on the roof and I wouldn't be able to do this. So we're looking good. Look at that. She's a Havelock. She's a Havelock wool uh, professional. Huh? Now, everyone doing buses uses spray foam. Not I. I have my reasons, but the main reason is uh, Spray foam doesn't breathe. 
So yeah, it seals it up, it insulates it great, but you're still trapping the air inside, right? I've heard people pulling down their walls and boom, there's mold on their spray foam from moisture that was trapped there. The cool stuff about Havelock, I'm not gonna get crazy, but the cool stuff about Havelock wool is it breathes, water can pass through it. There's a whole thing. Go to Havelock Wool's website if you wanna learn more about it. I personally will probably never do spray foam. Um, I really like Havelock Wool, so just throwing this little bit in there. Okay, I just finished for the day. It's 5.30 and the goal was to, oh yeah, I had to finish sanding today. Threw a primer on the bare metal and I just got done using automotive industry body sealer. So I think one of the big mistakes people make when they're building a bus or a van is they're going to Home Depot and they're buying, you know, Home Depot you know, cocks and sealants and silicones. Silicone is terrible. It, uh, it shrinks, it cracks, it creates lines. Silicone's terrible. I don't ever use silicone. Um, so, I've talked about it before. Um, my dad and my stepdad were both like auto body guys. And like, you know, commercial grade like automotive industry sealers are, or, or even boat marine grade stuff. Anytime you're dealing with a leak point on your vehicle, don't buy cheap stuff, get good stuff. So that's a self-leveling um, deal. I got a primer in, I got all the body sealer in the cracks. So all the seams and cracks have been dug out and have brand new body sealer. This bus is from 1998. Stuff's come a long way since then. So I pulled it all out and I got brand new cock lines in all of the cracks and seams. So I feel great about it. And another thing is, is that little vent thing you guys see in your buses, it's a leak point too. Um, I remember one time when I finished a bus, it rained one night, took it for a drive and it literally just dumped water. Anyways, I always pull that out and skin over it with some sheet metal. It was a long day, but I feel good about it because now I can actually paint the roof tomorrow. So we're kind of on track. We're a day behind, but kind of on track. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a brand new day. And we need to get paint on that roof right there. So this is the stuff I'm using. A lot of people use Henry's Tropical. I will never be one of those again. I have used it. I despise it. There's a whole lot of reasons on that. I'm not really gonna get into it. I use the Durabrite. It's cold, it's winter. Um, I'm gonna turn the heater on, try and get things warming up in here so I can get paint up there. Other news, let me show you. My plywood is wet. So water got on our wood. That's our $2,000 of ceiling right there, by the way. Water. Uh, it's an old, cheap shop and it's leaking. So um, it was only a couple boards that got wet. Um, I'm hoping it'll dry out, but we need to get things up in that bus ASAP. So let's get to work.
All right, y'all, that's gonna be the end of this video. <laughs> um, we're really, really fighting the cold, you know, waiting on dry times. So where it's at is that is our roof coating. I feel awesome about the automotive body sealers in all those cracks. And that's two coats of Henry's Durabrite. And it's not quite drying enough for any more coats. And it's just too cold. The heater is just not enough. And I ran out of material. So I was two in like, it's about two gallons. So uh, we're going to town tomorrow, to, tomorrow for material. I'm gonna get two more gallons of Durabrite and that should dry enough to where it'll take more coats of paint better. Cause right now it's just wet and it's just not, it's not working. Uh, Jaylena had to stop because I didn't want her cutting wood in here and putting dust in the air on that wet paint. So it's really, really slowing us down, but you know, it is what it is. So that's where we're at. That's where we're gonna end this week. We're stoked to have Jaylena back out here helping us. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you got this far, we really appreciate it. We're stoked to get this bus built out. This is our family home. This isn't one I'm building to sell. This is one I'm building for my family and I to live in and travel the United States. So we're hyped about that. So, uh, if you're new here, if this is the first time you found this channel and you like bus stuff or anything bus related, consider subscribing. That's all we do here. And if you're a long time subscriber and you're here every single week, you know we got that love for you. So this is Isaac signing out. Peace.